about um, sizing in MotorSol before uh, talking about uh, before going into post processing and. Um, uh, MotorSolve sizing feature allows the user to initiate a design process based on uh, target output values and um, using a, and uh, using the sizing feature uh, in MotorSolve induction motor. So in this case, uh, the sizing can be done by simply specifying uh, by specifying whether or not your desired machine is voltage or current driven, specifying the voltage, specifying a, a synchronous speed, as well as rated sleep, uh, slip and uh, rated torque uh, that you are interested in targeting. You can also specify the number of phases. Uh, you can specify the number of poles. Uh, you can specify uh, the ear gap thickness, um, the uh, motor aspect ratio. Uh, so these are parameters that, if specified, will be respected uh, by the output of the sizing of the sizing algorithm. And uh, you can specify the outer diameter. So you can leave this, of course, this, these fields um, uh, simply um, undetermined, and the um, and the sizing feature will will then uh, will then respect will then uh, come up with the best possible design. Uh, well, we'll come up with a, an initial design based on your input and um, and uh, any undetermined or unspecified uh, dimension will uh, will be computed from uh, from within the algorithm itself. Uh, the rotor types can be specified um, as well as the number of bars, uh, stator uh, geometry, number of bars, number of slots, and uh, which brings us to the main parameters that determine the outcome of the sizing algorithm which is specifying the torque per unit volume, uh, the rotor stator ratio, which, um, uh, which uh, some typical values of which are reported at the bottom of the, for any given field. Um, so 50% for two poles, 55, uh, the default value for four poles, et cetera. Efficiency can also be specified, and uh, as well as slot density and so forth. So once you've specified a number of these parameters, you simply hit apply, and it's sizing, uh, the sizing feature takes over and uh, creates a model based on that, the output of which are uh, reported in the uh, in the panel over here, which you can then use to further fine tune or undertake your design uh, cycle. So those are the main sort of, so this brings us to, um, once a model has been created, of course, a user is immediately interested in the results uh, or a text